Good morning. Welcome to day 179 of my thousand day adventure to create a video every day to also see where I end up. Also part of this, and I've done several other hundred day adventures, is to be aware of where I am in life. We can look at dates, yet they just go by. I've been doing this thousand day adventure and I see I'm at day 179 and it's like, oh wow, where am I? And I'm actually in a very good place. So, this morning um, I woke up and I was thinking about what am I going to make my video on? And I had no idea. I just knew that it was going to come to me. So, I was listening to my Course in Miracle lesson and it came to me. Uh, I'm making sure my camera's on there. <laughs> I'm on day 185 of um, Course in Miracles. Uh, co uh, what this happens to be is every day I'm listening to a new lesson in this year-long course called A Course in Miracles. It's a non-religious based uh, lesson. It still deals with God and Jesus. And the reason I did it was twofold. One, well, stepping back, I have done this course a few times in the past, never all the way through. And every time I did it, I approached it in a certain way. And it was okay. I thought I got it, but I didn't get it. This time I approached it in a totally different way. When it, I heard about it this time, somebody had posted that the new uh, round was coming up. I believe it was the beginning of the year. And what it was is automatic emails were going to be sent out from the um, people who put out this uh, Course in Miracles. And so I said, okay, let me join in. The reason I did it this time was I saw in the write-up about it that it is going to brainwash you. It's going to change how you think. And when I saw that, it was like, yeah, that's what I want. I want to go into that. The reason I did it was extreme spirituality. Yuma Key is a form of extreme spirituality. And the reason I say that is some of the exercises, some of the ideas, some of the tools that I present and suggest and that I've used myself, they may seem very extreme, yet when you do them Wow, it's, it's so simple and pure, and you go, wow, it's not what I thought. And so, going back to Course in Miracles, the second reason I did the Course in Miracles was, it presents this idea of God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. And for me, when I took that course, I was still having a big trigger with the word God, in that it took me back and it triggered me to my past religion and all of the negative things that were in there and all of the things that made me sad and all of the things that held me down. And I had gotten rid of that. And it was a good and everything was fine with it. Yet, it was this idea that people were saying the word God and I would get an instant idea of what it was and it would trigger me and it was negative and it didn't feel good. And so when I saw this in Course of Miracles, I said, okay, I'm going to brainwash myself so that I get rid of this idea of triggering around the word God. I know with NLP I can do it myself, yet let's see what they have. So I've been doing this course, and yeah, it's changed. The, the trigger is really getting minor. Um, I'm seeing it a whole different way. I'm listening to it. I'm even saying the word God and Jesus and I and following the lesson. And it's, it's good and it's beautiful. And it is an extreme form of spirituality to sit there and do this. And why people on the outside may look at it and go, it's just a word. <laughs> no, to me it's extreme. And that's what this whole idea behind Yumiki and extreme spirituality is. Once you walk through it, it's not so extreme. But on this side, it's extreme. Challenging your beliefs, challenging your ideologies, challenging who you think you are. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been wonderful. It's been great. So that's my share for this morning on extreme spirituality. Challenge your beliefs, challenge who you are. Um, of course, in miracles, not at all what I thought it was. Is something very beautiful. So I'm going to go now back to focusing on my dot, doing my key gong, and having an absolute amazing morning. So to you,
Namaste.